Apple has released a third developer beta of its upcoming iOS 11 update for iPhone and iPad, and a few noteworthy changes have been included in the update. Here are a few that stood out for us. First, Notification Center is simplified, showing all of your notifications from the first swipe, instead of having to swipe a second time to show older notifications. This was one of the biggest issues we had with the Notification Center in previous builds, so we're glad it's taken care of. Another gripe is that you couldn't swipe to close apps on the iPad's app switcher. Thankfully, that's been addressed, and you can now also swipe to close multiple apps at the same time. iOS 11 Beta 2 brought iCloud message syncing, but it was hard to tell if it was even working. Now we get a counter, letting us know how many messages still need to be synced. A new sync system for Safari bookmarks and reading list has been added. Migration will occur silently when all devices signed into iCloud are running iOS 11. Safari content blockers should be working again in Beta 3. Also, a bunch of new TV providers are listed in the Settings app in the latest update to iOS 11. Smart Invert, a feature that reverses the color of the display except for things like images and media, now works correctly. Whereas before, some images were unintentionally being inverted. Siri is now able to get directions with maps when Do Not Disturb While Driving mode is active. Siri has also gained voice support for a few new languages, along with upgrades to Japanese and Chinese voices. macOS Server and Dropbox have been added to the Files app on iPhone and iPad, making the new iOS file manager a lot more useful and convenient ahead of its public launch. When in the expanded music app settings within the Control Center, users can now tap the song title to bring up the music app. Finally, a new Start Broadcast option is available when using 3D Touch on the Screen Recording button in Control Center. It currently functions just like a regular screen recording, but may support third-party apps for doing things like live streaming in the future. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.